we've had some drama. Some fails. Some fails. It's a nice t-shirt, by the way. Thanks. It's from a famous drum company. So, so we, we, when last we looked at it, we'd put it in the bowl and covered it and left it to sit, to rise, to proof, right? Yes. And then we punched it down, but it didn't rise very much. So uh, then we put it in the loaf pans thinking maybe that'll help, right? Maybe it'll rise in there. And then I thought, well, nothing. It doesn't look like a single thing happened, but except it got kind of crusty on the top. Um, so I thought instead of baking it as loaves, we could take it out of the pan um, and roll it in and maybe bake it as like pitas or something like that, right? Okay. So to start that process, I came along and poked. And if you look in there, when I poked, see how it actually has risen. It's got structure in there. It's got air in the dough. See that? Yep. Beautiful. But now I've poked this one and messed it up completely, so that's kind of dead as a loaf. <clears throat> then I thought, I might as well just bake off the other one and see what happens. So I put the oven on, and that's where we're at. The oven's set to 200? I think so. <laughs> yes. Awesome. I don't like your oven very much. <laughs> so I don't like my oven very much either. I think that's what it's at. So when, when that comes to temp, we can just put this in for about half an hour, maybe a little more. And in the meantime, I thought I'd roll these into rounds and just do them on a frying pan. Sweet. So apparently it's up to temp. So we're putting it in the oven. On the middle rack. The oven's at 200. Celsius. Because we don't live in the 1950s. Yes, but I do. Okay, done. Okay, done. So, it's been almost half an hour? I think so. Rufus is getting quite vocal. Also, we quite bored. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. So now we need to... So now I am making these into little flatbreads and we'll see. Yeah. Should try the pizza thing. <laughs> nice. I'm going to temp the loaf that we're making. Yes. Which means I am taking its temperature. Ugh. Ow. Son of a gun. Okay. Okay, I got the oven shut. Thank you. So this thermometer, right in the middle. Uh, I can't get through the crust. Yeah, sometimes you have to really push. We are at, oh, we're past 90. All right, so we're at 94, so we're going back in for another five, 10 minutes, maybe. So you took them really flat, and now you're just gonna. I'm just gonna leave them. Let's see if they rise a little bit, and then I'll cook them off like pancakes like we did the other ones <laughs> that were so successful. <laughs> They're driving me crazy. So this is check number two. The part where we don't burn the crap out of our hands. Ideally, ouch. <laughs> I just burnt the crap out of my hand. Uh, just go faster. See, 90. Oh yeah, it's done. Cool. Now what? Well, we when turn you... off the oven. See if we can dump this out. Cooling rack. But this is the field. <laughs> it's not gonna dump out. All right. Here's where we hear mom swearing at the at random inanimate objects. Ta-da! Came out nice and easy, no problem. <laughs> Through the magic of editing. There's a piece. Mmm. <laughs> I'm scared. Well, that's pretty good. Tastes more like rye than sourdough, which is weird. I think because a lot of times rye bread is sourdough, just made with rye flour. Do you taste that? That sourness? This, the lactic acid that comes from the sourdough. Yeah, yeah. That's why that dude, Michael Pollan, he was talking about bread and the difference between old-fashioned bread that's sourdough and new-fashioned bread that's fast rise with lots of yeast. 
So yeah. you get that giant puffy. And that one way he said you can you can notice is if you take a slice of rye, of um, sourdough bread and you you chew it, the sourdough and the lactic acid makes your mouth water and every and it's so much easier to chew. If you take that stuff, he said you have to chew it with like you have to have a coffee or a glass of milk or something. Right. To be able to chew it. The end. Go. Just chopping off the. Oh yeah. We might want to go do this. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Look at the structure in there. I mean, it is very thin. Ooh, structure. I've never been able to get sourdough bread to be all light and fluffy and large. It just stays like this, no matter what I do. So then I just, you know, eat it. <laughs> Don't taste it. Yeah, but I want to film you tasting it first. Oh. Rinking. Are you self-conscious about how you're eating now? <laughs> I'm aware of how I'm eating now. <laughs> you're my favorite. That's pretty good. You should try it. Okay. Yeah, it's all sour. You can... I'm gonna stuff it in there. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> oh, yeah. It got stuck in my beard. Holy crap, the crust is intense. Right? It's very crusty. Mm hmm. Funny enough. But, man. Mm. And your whole mouth waters up for it. Right? Yeah. It just wants to chew it. It's good. The end. I think these are okay. I don't know. These are our oops, we stuffed it up. And Thanks. we bricked it, so we made some random so little... We, and I think they... I don't know if they to it to cool, but I think they might have developed a little air pocket inside. So theoretically, we might be... So hot. Oh, son of a... Nugget. Nugget. Mm -hmm. Hi, Nugget. This is not working like the way I had expected. <laughs> I thought it might make little pockets, but look what it makes. Makes shredded mess. Mmm, shredded mess. Mmm, God. Is that like eaten mess? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a lovely little dessert. It's like a little mini Pavlova kind of committed suicide on your plate. Oh, right. I mean, we saw it on that show. Yeah. Whatever that show was, I can't remember. That show about food. Yes, that one.